I'd, I'd been away from acting for a long time, and I was living on a ranch in Texas and just living another life and writing and doing other things. Um, <clears throat> and then um, there was a point, in time, you know, this, the pilot season comes up, and I kept saying no, 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 no. And my agent said, you know, there's this one thing that you might like. And uh, I was kind of captivated by it. And Philip Norris th was the director, who's a wonderful film director. Uh, Mike Kelly wrote a very interesting script. Uh, and, you know, it's not often that, that the women of this age who can be, um, have so many uh, compartments to them. And uh, Victoria Grayson is incredibly complex and unpredictable. And she's a glamorous creature. And, um, and I thought, well, this, this could be very, very interesting. But what, what it really hinged on was a moment in the pilot where she uh, decimated some, uh, a woman who she thought was her best friend who had slept with her husband. And she did it very publicly, and she did it artfully, and I thought, this is very, very, very clever. I think it's a show that taps into our primal instincts of, of you know, the very notion of revenge is a very um, dark thought. And uh, we try to deny it in ourselves, or we secretly harbor it, but I hear people in America say that they're obsessed with the show, which has been quite startling to me, or they have to know what happens. I mean, I've, I've had politicians talk about this, congressmen and senators, and, and so obviously um, the idea that there's so many manipulations and twists and turns, and Emily Van Camp plays uh, the, the protagonist of the story. I'm the antagonist, but she has done a wonderful job of carrying this on her shoulders, and she has this very lovely Grace uh, Kelly quality, and and all of her evil doing is in the name of good, <laughs> you know? But you're watching it and you're thinking, this is really actually not such a good person. So you see these two women and they're both sides of the same coin and there are all these wonderful um, other characters. Um, you know, this character of Nolan and the character Nick Wexler plays and Josh Bowman who plays my son. Um, it's a wonderful ensemble cast and they all uh, are doing the unpredictable and it changes, it morphs entirely from the first episode all the way to the last. She's very much who she is, and she comes from a place of revenge. She's, she's revenging something against her husband, um, but she, in, in doing so, is trying to also make all of her wrongs right, and she can never really do that. Um, and there's a final act that, that, that she takes, where she goes to report him to the um, Security Exchange Commission. And um, uh, there's a very startling event. And it's cinematically really interesting. There's a very, very, it, that, that affects the rest of the characters. And there's a beautiful montage in the finale from uh, the last, I think it's the last seven minutes. They're quite startling. You don't, you don't expect success uh, with television because so many things can't last. It's the nature of the beast. Um, but for some reason, people have personalized this show in a very, very fascinating way, and they all choose their favorite characters. And it's wonderful to see the cast have, um, everyone has their fans, and, it, and, and um, you know, we're all very, very different. And so what it says to me is that Mike Kelly's created characters that speak to all kinds of people. But mostly what's very interesting, at least in America, is that so many people have felt um, bent around and, and, and taken advantage of sort of by the 1%. You know, the world economy is changing enormously. We all know what's going on in Europe and worldwide. And this show is speaking to people because of that. They want to see the, the uber-wealthy have their comeuppance. So it's a great fantasy for them. And at the same time, they get a window into a completely fantastical world and they get to hate these people and love them at the same time.